what's up you guys we are in my hometown bend oregon i am so excited to be here i am coming to give you just all of the things you need to know about bend golf in bend food in bend where to stay all the information if you want to come visit bend oregon yourself so this whole video is just going to be a little bit about that and um hopefully providing you with the best information shout out to visit central oregon for having me out on this trip and i hope you guys enjoy i'll be happy so You ready to all right you guys we are at the first course we're going to play on my central oregon golf trip we are at tethero golf course in bend oregon designed by david mckay kid and this is one of the top 100 courses rated by golf digest it is also a link style course which we don't have any of those in bend so it's a really cool treat to go play and i'll take you out with me and show you around Are you ready to play today? Let's do this. <laughs> April golf in Central Oregon is a hit or miss. It's either going to be perfect weather or it's going to be really cold. And we got a really cold day, so we're freezing. We're in our rain gear now, and we're on hole number nine. It is windy. So for those of you who don't know who David McKay Kidd is, he is also the creator of one of the Bandon Dunes courses. So one of the things that he's known for is the undulated greens. So you can kind of see, it's hard to see on camera, but you can kind of see the undulation in this green. And today we have seen quite often that if you miss the hole and you have this ball going a little too fast, that ball could roll right off the green. So I'm gonna show you. Alright, so let's say I put this a little too hard down this hill. There she goes. <laughs> All the way <laughs> off the green. <laughs> it makes it fun though. <laughs> that was it for Tethero. If you get the chance to play Tethero Golf Course, definitely take that opportunity. It's a great, great course here in Bend. Tomorrow is going to be a cross water, but we're ready to eat. We're hungry. We're going to go check out my hotel room and then go grab some dinner. All right, y'all, here's my hotel room. It is so nice. It has a fireplace. couch look at this bed and look at all these cute goodies over here so sweet tethero left me some swag bags check out this view also oh right looking at the golf course so that's the first hole that we played earlier and the driving range is right over there. So cool. Of course, you know you're in Bend when you have pine trees right out your balcony. And then 
here is the bathroom. It's so fancy. Super cool. Thank you, Tethero. All right, you guys, we are at Cascade Lakes Brewery for dinner. I just ordered a burger. Here's my, my lovely dates from this date night. Look how cute they are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, one minute. Mom with her salad. Yay, and fries. Dad got a burger. What's up you guys? Today we are at Crosswater Golf Course, which just happens to be one of my, if not my favorite, golf course of all time. I love Crosswater growing up in Bend. This was one of my favorite courses to play. It was always a treat to get to come out here because it's a tournament style course. I believe they have five different tee selections here so they can push the tees all the way back. They frequently host the NCAA um, National Championship. They used to have a PGA tournament out here. This also happens to be where I won my conference championship my senior year of college. So great memories here. And I think we're gonna make some good memories today out there on the course. It's just me and you. So I'm glad you guys can join me for this. One of the things I like about Crosswater is that you really have to be strategic um, how you're gonna play the course. So it's really hard for people to come out for the first time and try and go low. It benefits the smarter golfer who can still hit the shots and execute the shots. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite holes today and we're gonna have a good time. Check out this hole, you guys. It is so pretty along the water here. If you guys ever get a chance to come play any of the Sun River courses, I definitely would, but in particular Crosswater, it's just so beautiful out here. I'm gonna try and show you guys the mountains, although it's a little bit overcast today. It might storm later, so it'll be hard to see, but you get like views of all of the mountains that surround Central Oregon. So this is the Deschutes River, and the course runs through a lot of it. All right, it's starting to sprinkle, which living in Arizona for the last six years, I am definitely a fair weather golfer now, so I'm freezing. Rain gear is on, but we're gonna power through. It's the high desert, so we get four seasons in one day sometimes. Mountains are showing off. They're showing off today. All right, you guys, we are on hole number 12 at Crosswater Golf Course. This is a par five and a very long one. I believe this hole is titled Endless and it is definitely endless. It lives up to its name. So all the way back at the championship tees, it is playing nearly 700 yards. So we're gonna play it together from the black tees, which is six, over 600 yards, almost 650, I believe. Um, so if we can make a par from a 600 yard par 5, I will be very happy. <laughs> this hole is my favorite hole on Crosswater just because of how beautiful it is. You have water off to the left the entire way up to the green, a tough green up ahead, very small green surrounded by water and bunkers, and of course beautiful views of the mountain straight ahead. This hole is the one that is on most of the photos of Crosswater because of how beautiful it is. <laughs> I barely reached the fairway, but we're there. <laughs> Heading right out of Goose. Oh my gosh. Okay, incoming. <laughs> All right, so my blue tees range finder says we are exactly 200 yards on the dot. So I'm gonna hit my through it again. 
and we can definitely make it there with this club so we do have a chance at making par from an over 600 yard par five woo Oh, that's a runner. She's a runner, she's a tractor. All right, so with this chip shot, because the fairways are so low right now, the grass is so so cut so low is what I'm trying to say, um, I'm going to play more of a bump and run shot, land it in front of the green, let it run on, because that pin is right in the front. It'll be too hard to hit a 60 degree high and land it soft. So that kind of kicked a weird way. I just want to try and hit another one and see what what um, what we can do with that. <laughs> if that would have gone in and no one was here to see it, <laughs> you guys were here to see it. This is what the hole looks like looking back. We teed off like way the heck over there. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I had the right play on that second chip. I mean, I just got this little tap in, but this is my second shot. Let's make this putt to save par. Yes, that's a par, baby. So my other favorite hole on Crosswater is hole number 13, this par three, but it's not so much because of the hole itself, but because of this eagle's nest right here. So there is a family of eagles that have lived here for years and years and years. Yeah, you will catch the eagle in its nest every once in a while. It lives right there. I think eagles are so sick. And this whole, it just always makes me so happy to see. All right, you all, so that's gonna wrap up our round at Crosswater Golf Course, my favorite. Um, we're gonna head over and get some lunch at the Lodge Kitchen, and then we have dinner tonight at Tim Barrel, and tomorrow we are off to Pronghorn. So let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Check out this view, you guys. This is so beautiful. There's a golfer. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome to our last and final day of golf in Central Oregon. Today, we are playing a Pronghorn Golf Course, one of my favorites. I think it's probably the nicest course in Central Oregon. Um, Pronghorn, I used to get lessons out here when I was in high school. I'm pretty sure I haven't played it since then, so I'm really excited. And we have a full crew with me today. It's not just us today. We've got Dad. Hello, Lewis. Hello, and we have a cheerleader, aka mom. Gonna be a fun day.
check out the fit here. Look at this fit we got going on. Whew. Swagged out. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans? I'm gonna do a mass donation to the golf course today. Lots of golf balls being donated? Lots of golf balls. Possibly one right here? No, I'll make it over this. Okay. All right, we took a little detour. Uh, we teed off on the wrong course, so which should lead me to our first conversation. There are two courses out here at Pronghorn, Fazio and Nicholas. So we just played number one on Fazio, but that's private, so they came and got us. So they're taking us over to the Jack Nicholas course because they probably saw us teeing off and were like, yeah, let's get them out of there. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are out here on hole number 13 at Pronghorn Golf Course on the Jack Nicholas side. This is a par four, a shorter par four. It's only 307 from these gold tees, but it's the iconic hole because of how beautiful it is, obviously. So water off to the right, and there's a beautiful uh, waterfall down there. So we're gonna play this hole together. Let's go get it. That was piped. All right, we got 95. I'm clubbing up with my pitching wedge, which is my 105 club, just to make sure we get it up there. Whoo, risky. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for golf today. We're gonna go grab some dinner, and uh, that's gonna be all of my filming for the rest of my Bend trip. I'm gonna stay a couple more days and hang out with my parents. Be sure to check out these courses if you ever make it to Bend, but some other courses you could go check out are Black Butte Ranch, super nice, just outside of Bend. I definitely recommend Ouija Creek. It's one of my favorites. I always go play there whenever I come home. And then I would say Juniper in Redmond, Oregon. Go check those out. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you think of them. Of course, go see all the breweries. We have tons of them here in Bend. Tin Barrel is my personal favorite. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little vlog of the trip. Thank you so much to Visit Central Oregon for bringing me out and to all the courses. Thank you to Tethero for putting me up in their resort. It's so nice. I've never stayed anywhere in Bend besides my parents' house. So that was super fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.